Senator Ereti Kingibi. What order? Okay, you can go ahead. Matter for discussion, if possible, be referred to the President of the Senate before commencement of the day's sitting, and the President of the Senate shall refuse to allow the claim unless he is satisfied that the matter is definite and urgent. If the claim is allowed by the President of the Senate and the leave of the Senate is given by at least one-fifth of all the Senators, the matter shall stand over till the next legislative day. A Senator moving a motion under Combined Order 41 and 51 shall ensure that copies of the motion are available for all Senators when approval to move the motion is granted. Order 51. Notice shall be given no, notice shall not be dispensed with in the case of a motion or in respect of any other proceeding for which notice is required except with the ex consent of the President of the Senate and the general consent of the Senators present. Uh, uh, well, you can, uh, you can uh, just give a brief of what you want to present. Okay, yes. The Senate notes that on February 18, 2024, a complaint alleging illicit activities bordering on stealing, abduction, and trafficking of... No, what you need to do, just give a summary, just a brief, so that we, we, we'll put that to vote so that they can, before you begin the motion. Just give a synopsis. You see, uh, Senator, you are going to read your motion, but we need to put to vote. If uh, mm. said 40 children in Guagualada, and she's been arrested, they've retrieved four out of the 40 children, and pressure is being put on the police from somewhere to release her. And the community and all of us, and that's why I want the intervention of the Senate, to ensure that she's not released on, on bail until the uh, whereabouts of the children are provided. The police must be made to ensure that the children... Thank you very much. She, uh, Senator Eric Kingibi approached me this morning, um, telling me what she had just told the entire Senate. And uh, I felt this is a very cogent issue, something very important, something that deal with children. And these children are still in captivity, and uh, all effort to retrieve them should be something of concern to all of us. Um, so, is it the view of uh, the Senate that we should uh, take this motion now? Those in favor, please say aye. Yeah. Those against, say nay. The eyes have it. So, you may read your motion. Success, one call, and her accomplices to book on alleged malfeasance of stealing, abduction, and trafficking of children in the Guagualada, Kuali, and Kuje area councils of the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. Sponsored by my name is Senator Ireti Kingibe, and the Senate notes that on February 18, 2024, a complaint alleging illicit activities bordering on stealing, abduction, and trafficking of children perpetrated by one Madam Success Wankwa of the Guagualada, Kuali, and Kujie area councils of the Federal Capital, Capital Territory, Abuja, was addressed to me in a letter of complaint forwarded by the Missing Children's Parents Association, a non-governmental organization based in Guagualada area council. Note also that in the said letter of complaint, it was alleged that the ugly menace started in the wake of 2018 and continued unabated to date in spite of relentless efforts to stem the tide of this ugly incident scenario. Father notes that on the 4th of January, 2024, Madam Success Wankwa was apprehended by the police with the help of a vigilante group along Wagwalada Zuba Expressway with two abducted children. And upon investigation by the police, it was unraveled that the acts of stealing, abduction, and trafficking of children were carried out by the syndicate. And this led to the arrest of three accomplices while others are at large. Worried that since the arrest of the perpetrators and some of her accomplices, only four children have been recovered out of 40, 
40, which were alleged to be missing, concerned that this organized crime has become a great threat to the peace and well-being of the three area councils and their environs. And as such, it is imperative that urgent steps are taken to address this matter. Accordingly, my prayers are that the Senate resolves to urge the Nigerian Police Department of State Services and other relevant security agencies to be thoroughly involved in the matter with a view to bringing all the perpetrators to book, put modalities in place for the recovery of the missing children, and to ensure that justice is not only seen to be done, but must be done speedily to serve as deterrent as well as assuage the feelings of the victims. And also, urge the National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons and other related offenses to, as a matter of urgency, put operational mechanisms in place for prompt responses to reported cases of human trafficking and baby factory incidences across the country. I so move. Senator Tony Oedu, can you second and then uh, make your contribution? Thank you, my dear president, distinguished colleagues. My name is Dr. Tony Nwoye. I represent the people of Anambra North Ministerial District. I hereby second this motion, very important motion, by my sister, Senator Iretikin Gibe. And in seconding this motion, I want to make very few contributions. That few contributions of mine should be based on the fact that this Senate has to rise up against this ugly monster, a hydra-headed monster, as well as a cancer that is child trafficking and abduction. As he concerns the subject matter, children are the pride of the society. The children who are helpless, children who have, don't have people who can defend them, children who don't have people who can fend for them, doesn't talk all well that some people can sit down and their job will be to have a baby factory where they will have people, pregnant uh, young ladies, or they will contract pregnant young ladies. I know that they will take their children and go and sell in the name of children trafficking. I feel that this our Senate should rise up, and I feel that this motion is very timeless. I believe that the Department of uh, State Security Service, as well as Nigerian police, should rise to the occasion. Before we go to the prayers, I second this motion, I support this motion, and I believe that this is something we have to fight together. I so second my president. Mm. Well, um, okay. You make your contribution, then this thing Senator will uh, round up so that we can go to the prayers. So, just two minutes. Then. Okay. Mm. Yes, let me see, Mr. President, distinguished colleagues. I rise to uh, wholeheartedly support uh, this motion. And in doing that, Your let I think we need to go a step further. The provision of trafficking in persons and other related offenses, NAPTIC, needs to register all these modalist homes that are spread all over the country. They also need to come up with operational guidelines for those motherless homes, because that is where these people are taking advantage. Okay, they co go under the cover of, you know, uh, taking care of uh, children that are littering all over the place and are motherless, so to say. I think we need to have a formula to regulate their activities. We need to know the sources of funds. Okay, and we need to know the quality of those who are managing the affairs of these motherless homes. It is very important. There must be a guideline. Thank you very much. Senator Banigo, Her Excellency, uh, you round up, then we go to the prayers. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, my distinguished Senate President, distinguished colleagues, the Palibo, Harry Banigo, representing River Senatorial West. I want to wholeheartedly support this motion brought up by my dear sister, Senator Kingibi. This is a most unfortunate situation that we appear to find ourselves in 
according to the motion, it has been on since 2018, and it's still on. Not only do they sell these children, they bury their cases, their files, everything that has to be done to, 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 to stop this, to negate this thing from spreading. I'm sure that if the security agencies go into it very well, they will find that it's not just these three area councils. There are other area councils that are also involved. And I want to um, add, I want to, while wholeheartedly supporting the, her urges to, the, to this National Senate, I want to also add a third urge, that the Social Development Secretariat of FCT should also be involved because of their involvement in the shelters, in registering shelters and orphanages. So they should be called to order as well because it is not fair for people to own so-called orphanages in the guise of selling children and using the parts of these innocent ones for diabolic purposes. It must stop. And I, I'm, I'm glad that this Senate can do the job. Thank you. Yes, before we go to prayers, Senator Laleri Kamarudin has some information in respect to this issue. Uh, I think we should allow him to avail of that information. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. President of the Senate, the single colleagues. My name is Senator Olaleri Yehumi. I represent also West Central District. Uh, while supporting this motion is in entirety, I call want the Senate to give kudos to the uh, police as well as the vigilantes of this area. Because most of the, it was the outcome of their effort that now unravel most of the other inuous activities that all these people are committing. And what the community is looking for is just the completion of the assignment so that they can take a final glory. If they have arrested these people and they keep it under the table, nobody is going to thank them. So I just want us to commend the effort of the Nigerian police, commend the effort of the vigilante and the good synergy that exists between them that led to the arrest of the woman in question and urge them not to stop there, to make sure that the matter is followed to the logical conclusion. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much. We now move to the prayers. Prayer one, all the Nigerian police, Department of State Services and other relevant security agencies to be thoroughly involved in the matter with a view to bring all the perpetrators to book, put modalities in place for recovery of the missing children, and to ensure that justice is not only seen to be done, but must be done speedily to serve as deterrent and as well as assuage the feelings of the victims. Those in favor of this prayer, please say aye. Those against say nay, they are it. Also urge, prayer two, also urge the National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons and other related offenses, NAPTIF, as a matter of urgency, put operational mechanisms in place for prompt responses to reported cases of human trafficking and baby factory incidences across the country. Those in favor of this prayer say aye. aye. Those against say nay, the eyes of it. Let me commend Senator Eriti King Gibi for bringing forward this motion. Additional prayer. <laughs> 